Craig live? What I said was, I don't want you to kill him now. We have other priorities. I don't. Sweet Sam. So lovely to see you again. Aren't you going to say hello? I mean, you should thank me. After all, I made you a star. You must be James Craig. The ringleader you held up those people hostage at the Metro Corps. Oh, the ringleader, really. And you are? Amelia Joffe. I produce Everyday Heroes. Oh, then I've been a boon to your career as well, haven't I? But in the interest of full disclosure, my real name is Jerry Jacks. I took almost everyone that I care about, and he held them hostage and nearly killed them. He did kill Alan, you know that. And you want revenge, I Yeah, I want revenge, I want him dead. But that's what I want. You're not thinking clearly. What's there to think about? Sonny, this guy is dangerous. He was at Carly's house. Who knows what he would have done if I hadn't shown up? Craig is Jax's brother. I don't think he would have hurt Carly. Uh, you, don't, you don't even know that. He's less of a threat than Alcazar. That's what I want you to focus Screw on. Screw Alcazar. Think about point. it. Alcazar's the one who tried to poison me. He arranged the ambush at the cellar. He's the active threat. The one that needs to be taken down right now. Craig can wait. What if you're wrong? What if you're wrong? What if Craig takes another hostage? What if, what if he takes Carly? He did pay a lot of attention to her at the Metro Court, didn't he? Carly was engaged to Jax's brother. We just didn't know it. Now, Jerry, Mr. Craig, whatever the hell he wants to call himself, is a psychopath. He needs to die eventually. But right now, Alcazar needs to die as soon as we can set it up. Can you handle it? Can you do the job? Take a seat, both of you. Make yourselves comfortable. We're going to be here a while. Uh, so you're, you're Jerry Jax, as in Jasper Jax? Bingo! He's my kid brother. Well then, why did you hold 15 people hostage in his hotel and then blow it up? Nosy, nosy. Well, the medical certainly wasn't my first choice. I mean, I'm more of a five-star kind of man, you know. But what could I do? I mean, the briefcase was there. What do you want? <laughs> She's awfully volatile and naughty, that one, don't you think? I need to have a little chat with your brooding boyfriend about all the reasons why he isn't going to kill me. And if you're not going to sit down, why don't you fetch that wine you're going to serve your boss? I think we'd all enjoy a glass, don't you think? Go. The truth is I don't believe Jax can guarantee his brother's good behavior any more than I can buy. Mr. Craig reforming himself and playing nice with others. But the thing is, Jax believes that he's going to pull out all the stops to defend his brother. And while he does, Mr. Craig is going to cooperate. I don't think he's going to blow up any buildings. I don't think he's going to take anybody hostage, at least for a couple of months. So that, that buys us time to eliminate Alcazar and figure out a way for Jax, his brother, to die that won't come back to bite us. What if you're wrong? You know what? I trust my judgment more than yours on this one. I didn't see my father stumble outside of the lobby doors and have another heart attack. If I had, I probably wouldn't be thinking clearly myself. Alcazar has to die first. I thought I was supposed to wait for Scott to get her daughter back. I just want you to be ready. I want to help Sky. I mean, why wouldn't I? But it's important that Alcazar dies clean, quiet, and quick. Can you handle it? Yeah, I'll do my job. I'm gonna do it the way you want. But I want Craig dead. Uh, you should want him dead. But you gotta be smart. One thing that, that was true that Jack said is, you know, like it or not, we're all connected. I prefer not to return to the life of the permanent fugitive. You know, it gets wearing after a while, and it's unfair to my brother, you know, for putting his life on hold to bail me out of trouble. No. Jax did mention something about Siberia. Oh, then you know Jax. I'm not surprised. I mean, he has a way to connect with the most beautiful women. Thank you. Yes, you see, James Craig was becoming a liability, so, and I certainly don't want to waste a perfectly good alibi. It could last me a lifetime, excuse me, though. You held 15 people hostage for 12 hours in the Metro Court. They're going to remember what you look like no matter what your name is. Oh, I don't know. I mean, whoever 
Whoever took these people hostages could easily have been my double. Or a sinister master criminal with the same plastic surgeon. I mean, not unlike having the same hairdresser, I understand. You know, one size fits all. I mean, there are no prints on file, uh, no DNA, the briefcase blew up, any form of evidence was nicely cleared away and... and built over. Oh, how touching. No! What are you doing? Ladies, ladies. Oh, the gun. A woman who would do anything, trample over anyone to save herself. Not someone who would habitually kill people, especially in front of a boss. Please, I need to know the details. Well, it was self-defense. <laughs> Isn't it always? What really happened, Miss Joffe? Two men came after Sam and Jason at the studio a few weeks ago. Sam shot and killed one of them. It was clearly self-defense, and she may well have saved our lives. I just don't care to relive the experience. Why are you even talking to this guy? Didn't you do your homework at all in the Metro Court? Don't you know he is a vicious killer? She's absolutely right. And to prove it, I will blow your head right off if the jackal doesn't drop his pool cue immediately. Well done. A valiant effort. Please join the ladies. Now. Escape while you can, unhinged one. Oh, that's cute. Unhinged one. That sounds like a rusty garden gate. You're in the layer of stone cold, okay? His wrath will be swift oh, and shut lethal. shut up. He'll be fine when we agree on the price. Come on, I told you Jason can't be bought. Yeah, stone cold is not for sale. Oh, the lovely Amelia knows that everyone can be bought, even Jason. Welcome home, Mr. Morgan. Close the door, drop the gun. We need to go through a few details. You see, no killer should have people he can't bear to lose. I intend to exploit that weakness. You remember my little insurance? I'm not going to let you hurt any of these people. Well, none of these people qualify, I'm afraid. Guess who this is? I'm noble and brave, someone who completely loves you, no judgments, no questions asked. Who am I? Dick, dick, dick. Emily. Bravo! Excellent reasoning. You win. Sit down. Emily's fine for the moment, except that she recently opened a Swiss bank account and accepted an illegal wire transfer from a hostile nation. That means that your little sister is guilty of high crimes. You set her up. That's right. You see, if I die, proof of her guilt will go to the State Department. And in this reactionary climate, that means that your plucky little sister will end up in Guantanamo before I say lawyer. You see, I intend to have a happy life, and if I don't, Emily will pay the price. Present. Bye-bye. Never shot that at home with the hero piece I wanted to do. This whole being held at gunpoint thing really wouldn't have helped our numbers. I'm really sorry. Oh, please don't apologize. You aren't responsible for what happens at Jason's penthouse. We do need to discuss your personal situation soon. Well, the driven one no doubt wishes she'd produced a show about remodeling kitchens. Are you okay? I don't know, Jason. I don't know how Mr. Crip, Gary, whatever he is, I don't know how he got in here. Dude, I, I tried to get a jump on him, but I, if, if he shows up again, you just get out and call for help, can I? Right? I'm sorry I let you down. I'm. I, I let him storm the gates. I let the evildoer storm the gates. I, I'm sorry. I'm not worthy. I. The guy already lost Alan. To that guy, I'm not going to lose anybody else. But what if Craig is Jerry? And what what if he actually is it? I mean, he's the brother of the Valkyrie's White Knight, right? And if he does hold damning evidence against Noble Emily, I mean, what what can you do? I'll start from the beginning, I suppose. I walked in the door, and Mr. Craig was standing in here, and he made me get some wine, and I found your gun in the wine cabinet. and I went to pull it on him, and Amelia, she stopped me. She said that she couldn't stand to see me shoot another man. Doesn't she understand that Craig is dangerous? Yeah, 
No, I don't know. I don't know. Jason, we live completely different lives than everyone else. I gotta tell you, this has been a really long, weird day for me. Was there a problem at the studio? Yeah, there was a problem at the studio. <sighs> we were shooting this piece on domestic abuse, and I suppose I lost it a little bit, and, and I kind of flipped out, and I pulled a prop gun on the actor, and then I pointed it at Amelia, and she had to sort of snap me out of it, and then she didn't think I was okay to walk home by myself, so she walked me home, and here was Mr. Craig, or Mr. Jax, or whatever. Do you think he is Jax's brother? Yeah. Great. That's great. So what are we gonna do? I'm gonna check out a story. I'm gonna see if he really has said Emily up for espionage, and if he has, 